Hi everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you three new box sets. These have come out in May 2022. So these are the up-to-date releases for the Star Wars movies. It's the complete Skywalker saga they call it. The original box set with everything on. I will link on this video if you haven't seen that. But this time they've released them in three different box sets so you don't have to buy the whole Skywalker saga if you don't like it all, for example. So if you don't like the Disney trilogy, for example, you can just not buy that one or just buy the original trilogy or the prequels, etc. So I'm going to be opening these one at a time and show you exactly what the sets come with, the special features and stuff listed on the back and what the sets look like inside. So we'll start off in chronological order of episodes. So episodes one to three. So this is the prequel trilogy. Obviously it has the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith in here. They're listed along the bottom. That's the edge. And then this is the back of the Blu-ray. I'll go through that in a minute. I'll just take the cellophane off first. So I'll just go over what you get on this prequel trilogy set. Six discs, so one disc for each of the movies and then one disc for each of the movies special features. So hopefully you'll be able to read that if you pause the video. But you've got lots of like audio commentaries, documentaries, like for example The Beginning on The Phantom Menace. That's a really good documentary if you've never seen it. And then all the specifications there, you can pause that if you need to see subtitles and stuff. So let's look inside quickly and I'll show you the other sets. So this is what you get. It's a cardboard case with plastic inserts and nice artwork and then we've got each of the movies two discs in a row here. There is artwork underneath the discs so I'll quickly show you that. So that's the Phantom Menace. That's the Attack of the Clones one. And then that's the Revenge of the Sith artwork. So the discs themselves are dated 2020. Um, so I'm presuming they're exactly the same as the Skywalker Saga complete box set. Um, so if you've already got that, there's probably not much in point in rebuying these. I've rebought these though because I prefer the artwork on these sets than the complete saga, which was the Death Star. I didn't really go with <laughs> the Skywalker saga, really, in my view. So that's why I've repurchased these. They're in solid cardboard outer sleeves, and I think they just look really nice. So I'm going to have these instead for my collection. So next we have the original trilogy from Star Wars. I'll just take the cellophane off this. So we'll have a look at the artwork close up. So this is for the original trilogy. So A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. All listed down the bottom. Edge is blue on this one. And then on the back. We get the artwork along the top there, very Empire Strikes Back related. And then six discs again, just the same as the prequel trilogy. One for each of the movies and one for each of the special features. So again, you get loads of special features. I'll hold that to the camera so you can pause it if you want to read them all. But again, commentaries, documentaries, interviews, deleted scenes effects and everything. Loads on there. So let's look at the inside and the artwork in there. So that's the front and the back has the main falcon on it. Then discs inside. We get um, again 2020 discs. They all look like they're 2020 discs. Underneath the discs we get that for A New Hope, that's for The Empire Strikes Back, and then Return of the Jedi at the end. So that's the original trilogy set, and then we head on into the Disney trilogy. So again, I'll just take the cellophane off. 
So, this is the artwork for these three movies. Force Awakens, Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. On the edge, it's kind of an orange colour. And then this is the back. Again, six discs, same format as the others. And then you've got the special features. Again, commentaries, behind the scenes and stuff. There is a score-only version of The Last Jedi. I can't remember if that was on the last Blu-ray set or not. I don't remember that being on there, but I'm presume it was if they haven't changed the discs. This is the inside. Again, all the discs are 2020, so I'm presuming same special features and everything as the complete box set. Underneath The Force Awakens, you get that artwork. And Last Jedi, we have the artwork. And then Rise of Skywalker, we have the artwork. So as I said, I love the artwork for these um, Blu-ray sets. Obviously they're available in DVD as well. I don't think they have special features though, it's just one disc for each movie if you buy the DVD sets. I will link in the description a link to Amazon if you want to buy these. Um, obviously they'll be available in other shops that sell Blu-rays and DVDs as well, like HMV. So as a quick bonus, I'm just going to run through which are my favourite movies, personally speaking, from the three trilogies. My views are usually polar opposite to everyone else's, so <laughs> bear that in mind when I tell you. <laughs> my favourite movie from the uh, prequel trilogy is The Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace holds the record of the number of times I've seen a movie at the cinema. I've seen it six times plus a showing of the 3D version they released. So technically seven times I've seen this movie at the cinema. Um, so yeah, Phantom Menace is definitely my favourite. I was really obsessed with Star Wars when Phantom Menace came out. Next favourite out of the other two, I don't really know. I haven't really watched Revenge of the Sith that much, two or three times. I think it's about three times I've seen that. And Attack of the Clones it isn't my favourite either, so I can't really choose the next one really between those two. So I'm not really going to make the decision on, <laughs> on that for those. Uh, for the original trilogy though, my favourite of the three is Return of the Jedi. It always has been since I was a kid. It's the first movie of the Star Wars I ever watched. I watched on the telly over Christmas. I think it was broadcast in the late 80s on TV. So Return of the Jedi became my absolute favourite. Next favourite of the original trilogy is A New Hope and then Empire Strikes Back, although they're very close to each other. And for the Disney trilogy, my favourite is the one everyone hates. <laughs> it's The Last Jedi. I actually love that movie for some reason. Um, I just really enjoyed it. I was just probably really into Star Wars when that came out, I think. Next and um, favourite is The Force Awakens, obviously the one that restarted it all. And then The Rise of Skywalker is my least favourite out of the three. I don't know why, just probably because I haven't watched it as many times as the others. But yeah, those are my quick thoughts on the nine movies of the Skywalker saga. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this little unboxing of the three sets. Uh, that have just been released in May 2022. As I said, I've got these to replace my complete Saga box set because the artwork on that's appalling. <laughs> these are much more colourful and what I want to display on my shelves. So thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.